All right, so all you K20 Pro users out there, a happy new year from Pixel Experience and from PhoneOps. The reason I say that is because this particular build was released on the 1st of January 2022. Anyways, I hope you guys have a great new year and uh, yeah, it brings you good health, prosperity and everything that you desire and deserve. Anyways, we are talking about yet another build based on Android 12 for Pixel Experience for the Redmi K20 Pro Mi 90 Pro, also known as Rafael and Rafael In. I've been using it since yesterday. We've tried the benchmark numbers. We've seen the battery backup, the charging speeds and stuff like that. And that's what we're going to talk about today. So before we get into the details, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon because it doesn't cost you anything. And it really motivates us to make amazing content like this. If you think you like chatting with like-minded people, please join us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, especially on Telegram. We have more than 1500 members. And if you think the hard work is worth the effort, well, please click on the join button and support the channel. Now, without further ado, Hello awesome people, welcome to PhoneOps, my name is Kalash, let's get going. Now let's see what we have here. We have PE official Rafael S UDFPS, that is for the fingerprint scanner. Ignore the background noise, yet again there is construction, I'm sorry about that. So Pixel Experience Android 12 updated on the 1st of January 2022. Now you have a 1.64 gigabyte download because remember this is Pixel Experience. It doesn't have a plus variant and Pixel Experience always comes with Google Apps. Now we will go to the device changelog. We won't go to the sales source changelog. Sales changelog, really? <laughs> Anyways, uh, initial stable version, December security patch, OTA is enabled, enforcing SE Linux, clean flash format data is mandatory. Now, let's see here. Let's see here. Clean flash is once again required for this build because SE Linux is now enforcing. Please back up your data. The ROM uses G apps, ships with OSS vendor and perf calf kernel. This is not your regular perf kernel. This is your perf calf kernel we are talking about. Use the latest Android 11 firmware of your device region. The ROM is now out of beta stage and has been moved to stable stage. No Pixel Experience Android 12 Plus edition at the moment. However, it has been planned to later in January right that that doesn't really matter a lot right pixel experience is there in android 12 and it is stable and it is working fine that is all we want because these are daily driver custom roms that we are talking about so the moment you boot into the rom you get a very very familiar ui with a basic camera application nothing new there a dark wallpaper you know a dark stuff from the bottom to the top working absolutely fine to the left you have google feed and see how snappy and fast this is even when you're scrolling if you go to the home screen bam it works absolutely okay if you swipe from the top to bottom you will see that you have a bunch of quick tiles over here and you have the edit menu in which you have a privacy access quick tiles you have a few additional options but nothing really interesting going on because hey this is pixel experience now one thing that i did experience in this particular update of pixel experience is that it is ever so slightly laggy in the ui now this is by no means a criticism to say that the rom is bad they are doing an excellent job but compared to the previous build, probably because SE Linux has gone enforcing and stuff like that, there is a very slight hint of lag. If you see over here, I don't know if you can notice or not, but there is a very slight hint of lag, which I think with a few more builds will improve. Even if you see that now, okay, let's go to the edit menu. See this? Once again. Yeah. So, you know, nothing deal breaker or something that, you know, you'll have to live with or probably, you know, you, you cannot bear the ROM and stuff like that. No such problems. Let's look for the screen recorder over here. Okay. And let's get rid of the dark theme because we don't like that. Anyways, so screen recorder here, record internal and external audio, no additional options over here. Let's see here. Start recording. You get a timer. Bam. Screen recording has started. The UI is smooth as ever. In fact, this ROM or this phone does a better job than uh, Poco X3 Pro Android 12 ROMs because it doesn't stutter at all the UI. It works absolutely fine even when recording the screen. Let's stop the recording here. Let's increase the audio a little bit. Wow. The audio is really nice. So that's good. The recording is smooth. The audio is nice, nice and it works absolutely fine. You do have a power menu over here. So no advanced restart. We'll see in settings if we have that option. You do have your signal bar, Wi-Fi icons and all those things present over here. I think in Android 11, these things used to be clickable. I like that. They should add that again. 
you have a power menu and a shortcut for settings over here, right? The app drawer is pretty basic because you don't really get any bloatware. Remember this is Pixel Experience. Pixel Experience comes with the Pixel Launcher in which you do get add app icons to home screen, swipe to access Google app, overview suggestions, suggestions, search your phone and all those things. Now you do have your Android 12 widgets which are present and they are working absolutely fine. And then you have your Monet UI which was introduced with Android 12 and it does a really, really good job. Go to curated culture, select the wallpaper of your choice. Terrible choice there, right? It's downloading the wallpaper in three, two, one. One, two, three. It's taking its own sweet time. I don't know why. Uh, come on. Oh, what? Okay. It crashed, did it? Okay, the wallpaper is here. Anyways. So let's apply it to the home screen, lock screen, bam, the accent color changes and it is working absolutely okay, no problem. The camera application here is very, very basic as always in custom ROMs, so nothing to write home about. You will have to install Gcam. I am working on a video to get ANX to you guys, but there is still portrait mode which is broken. So, you know, wait for some time and you'll have that video out. Now, apart from this, on the home screen, if you talk about give the Google search bar at the bottom, assistant shortcuts, all the usual stuff working fine. Hey, Google. Okay, Google. There you go. Okay, Google is present. Lock the screen here. Okay, Google. Hello there. Right. So, okay, Google is working with screen off as well. Now let's quickly talk about the interesting stuff. We are on always on display. I know this is very, very dim, but I can see the fingerprint scanner icon. It lights up the screen and yes. So the fingerprint scanner implementation this time around is really, really nice. Although it does light up the screen and it does take a couple of attempts, but it is very, very precise. It works really, really well. So that's a good thing. Now, if you go to settings, you go to about phone, you will see that you have Android version 12, December security patch. You do have the perf calf kernel as mentioned. So those things are present. Now, apart from this, if you talk about pixel experience in settings, you won't really have a lot of options because it's pixel experience. In battery, you do have optimization profiles, which is a good thing because remember benchmarks, I've selected the performance profile. So we will see the numbers. You have turn on light when charging, which is at the top in the top camera module, pop-up camera module. Uh, then you do have battery percentage over here, which is enabled. And if we talk about the battery usage, we've had about one hour and seven minutes of screen on time in about 24 hours of usage. And we are still at 49% battery. Remember, this is a device which is two years old. So the battery capacity would have dropped. And by those means, this is a very good battery life. You do get good 24 to 25 watt charging if you use a 27 watt charger. Unfortunately, that is what I have. So the charging and the battery backup is pretty decent nothing to worry there if you further go to security you have all your stuff the only thing that i can't find is app lock probably because it's not the plus version and uh, yeah you don't have face unlock android 12 roms right you don't have face unlocks uh if you go to system settings you will have pop-up camera effects over here backup system updates ota is added remember if you go to gesture you do have all the other options but you don't have finger screenshot they should add that even in the basic versions because these are very basic you know things that everyone needs these days anyways we have tap to wake night light ambient display settings screen timeout you know lock screen info and stuff like that so always on display on amulet panel is doing a great job nothing to worry there so so far pixel experience hasn't disappointed me neither surprised me it is doing what every other custom ROM is doing with better stability is what I would say. I've not had any major issues, so you can definitely use this as a daily driver. But before you use it as a daily driver, you would want to know the safety net, the DRM info and the performance numbers. So let's dive into that real quick, right? So as you can see over here, safety net is passing right out of the box. SC Linux status is enforcing. Play Store certification is present. Now let's go to Google Photos and see the CPU throttle test. Now the CPU throttled to 79% of its max performance and the average score was 214,895 GIPS. So that's a good thing. If you go to Geekbench over here and we talk about the run that we had, 712 single core, 2406 multi core. So nothing to write home about, not a big performance number there. 526, 820. So, you know, the performance numbers are on par with what you would expect on stock ROM of a K20 Pro. 
and that is good because this is android 12 and if you slap a perfect gcam on it you get a daily driver which is way smoother than miui it consumes less resources it heats up less it performs decent and it looks different as well so all in all in my opinion the latest pixel experience is definitely a daily driver there is a very slight hint of lag in the ui which i think will be improved with time let me know in the comment section what do you think about pixel experience based on android 12 for the k20 pro until the next one this is kalash signing off at phone ops keep smiling take care bye bye